I am delighted to be here tonight. And um, w when Mrs. Kramer called me to say, would you do this? I said, listen, I have to tell you a very interesting and funny story about it's a mad, 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 mad world. How many meetings were there at the studio to determine how many mads <laughs> there were? And in 1963, the movie came out November 7th. I was living in New York. I was 15 years old. 50 years ago, um, this coming November, and this will get funny, but it was my brother Richard who's here tonight reminded me of this story, and I actually had forgotten it, is that my father had died in October of 1963. It's... He was always doing stuff like that. And, <laughs> and it was a, obviously a very hard time for us. And then the movie was coming out, and he was a comedy freak. My dad turned my brothers and I on to all the great funny people during that time and early in New York and the local stations, and we had Ernie Kovacs and Phil Silvers, and, and we had all of these great, incredible people, Sid Caesar and Carl Reiner, who'll be out on the stage in just a minute, and all of these amazing people. And now, here was this movie, and most of them were in it. And so the month went by, and in Judaism, you have a certain amount of time to mourn, which is forever. <laughs> and... <laughs> and... My brother said to me, don't you remember we took my mother to see the movie, and you know something? She hated it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's a joke. I was debated whether to tell that story or not. No, we loved this movie, and we thought it was hilarious. And what was great about it was, apropos of the all-star game tomorrow, that's what this movie was for us. It was an incredible all-star game with the greatest people in the world, the people who made me want to be funny, all in one movie. And, and like I said, I was a junior in high school, so I always wanted to do this. I always wanted to perform, and I performed by myself, but also one of my closest friends and I had a comet, were a comedy team. His name was Joel Robbins. And Joel and I did Laurel and Hardy routines, and we did all kinds of funny stuff together, and we were in shows together, and we just, we just loved being funny. So when the movie came out, and I had seen it, so we gotta go see this. We got, so we saw it again. And then we said, we gotta do something. So at the age of 15, Joel and I formed a ticket agency company. And we sold 150 tickets to the members of the junior class of Long Beach High School, Long Beach, Long Island. We got our principal, Dr. Norman Schwartz, right then, to let us go. He gave us the day off from school. We got $3 round trip tickets on a Long Island Railroad special fare. We had buses meet us at Penn Station. We went to the theater, saw the movie, and when, when uh, it worked out that I was gonna do the, this, this thing tonight, now, I called Joel, I said, 50 years later, you wanna see the movie again? And he's here tonight, and it's maybe the best part of it. Where are you, Joel? There he is. You got a bigger hand than I did. Okay. Well, we're going to move this along because the movie, some of you may remember, is, uh, is nine hours long. And <laughs> it'll be shorter than some satyrs, but maybe not all. <laughs> 